Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to discuss corrupted custom themes and I have over 30 themes and I'm only using like two or three of them that I really like so I wanted to get rid of them and I saw this issue, this error that I keep getting every single time I try to uninstall or delete a certain theme and I've been checking out a lot of different stuff just to see how well they perform or if they even work and I do have a lot of stuff that just doesn't work for some odd reason and there are four different ways to get rid of these uh, themes so the first two are very simple very easy you go into your settings or go into custom themes manager but for some reason I keep getting the same error and I cannot delete anything the other two ways to delete them is going to the data files and just deleting that entire folder uh, the first way is through Vita shell but it is a little bit difficult because the way custom theme manager downloads them and installs them it doesn't really rename them correctly so it goes by theme 1 theme 2 3 4 5 so on and so forth so you don't know exactly which ones which so we have to go into each folder select a picture to see which one you're looking at and go from there and the final option is through our PC and we can blow up all of our folders and see all the images that are inside each folder and that's just a more efficient way to do it. So I'll show you all the errors that I get every single time I try to delete something. So I'll show you the first two ways to delete them. And the first way to do it is going to the custom themes manager and going to the uninstall a custom theme option so once it hits 23 this is where I get the error and it's not really showing on uh, the screen here or on the PC or OBS you can see on my Vita I have an error and it reads C2-18 or I'm sorry 12828-1 so let's hit OK and it kicks me out so let's go back in there so hopefully if you have themes that you don't like and you run this option and you can see all of the different themes, go ahead and start deleting them because I believe the problem lies with the themes that are corrupted. And one way to make sure that a theme is working is to go into each theme and seeing what other people has posted. So make sure not to download a bunch of stuff and test everything one by one because it is a little bit frustrating so let's go into the Nintendo switch theme what which I just downloaded and I don't like um, and I am getting an error with this where I can't delete it so that I would have to let them know hey I'm not I can't delete this it could either be the application itself or man there's just so many variations of these errors that could happen when you're messing with all these different homebrew and different plugins and applications but I believe it's the themes themselves so you can see the validation score is 100% 100 valids zero warning and zero error so if you see a couple that have an error or below 90 I wouldn't even bother with installing it so the other option too is to go to apply and install theme and let's go to PS2 memories because I really don't like this one. And we want to hit the three little dot option at the bottom there and hit delete. And now before this error started happening, I was able to delete two of them. And then all of a sudden I started getting this error. So, so here's one theme that I deleted off the PC. And for some reason it's still showing up here. So if I select it it just gives me an error occurred and I'll show you which theme that one was <laughs> I was a little curious to see what was going on with that one that one was project lewd censored yeah now going back to your settings here's another option another way to do it going into themes here and select that and delete now it did work for me one time. I don't know why it wanted me to go directly into the settings instead of custom themes manager, but that is another option. So now we'll take a look at Vita shell and all the data files with that. 
And I do wanted to point out that if you're getting those errors and they save those errors, like you're going through, it goes zero to 100% and you see the entire error, it will save on your memory card. It's not a lot of space, but you don't really need it. So I'll show you here in just a second. UXO, go into data, and down below you'll see all the different errors. And this is the more recent one I just had. Let's open that up. And this one was from today, 728. Uh, thread name is custom manager, custom theme manager, data abort exemption. So it just saves that error, logs it in, and we really don't need that. So just delete it. And that's one way to kind of clean up your PS Vita 2 is to go through these errors that they just save onto your memory card. So now let's go into custom themes manager. And you want to find the folder that you have everything installed. If you have an SD2 Vita like I do, it's going to be under UXO folder. And you can see 238 gigabytes. Let's open that up. And here is custom theme. We want to find this option here, custom theme. Let's open that up. Here are all the different themes that we have installed. And I have 39 different themes. So which one's which? You'll have to go into each one. Let's go into theme one. And let's just take a look at the first picture. So this is the windows. This is the Windows theme, which I don't want anymore. So what we'll do is triangle and delete. Now that's deleted. I do have another folder just like it. And I believe it's theme 37. So there is another Windows theme. So I'll delete that. And let's go back and see what we got going on here. Whoops. And now that option is deleted. Let's select. Let's see if I can delete that. If you try to delete it, it will freeze and you can't really do anything except for go home. So that's one way to get rid of those themes, but they're not 100% like eliminated. It's very strange. But now we're going to go and connect our PS Vita to the computer and show you a more efficient way to delete these guys. So let's go to start, select button on USB and press select. There we go. Here we are, our desktop and we're gonna open up the custom theme folder. You will see all of this as a list if you open this for the first time. And what you wanna do is blow up everything using this option at the bottom or right clicking view, large icons, or you can do extra large icons and go from there. And now we can clearly see the photos and which theme is which and what we can get rid of so I want to get rid of this last of us this one let's delete this last of us folder and you will have to refresh it for some reason it just didn't want to delete there like that so I'll make sure to refresh it I'm gonna delete that delete this one delete this one delete this one Delete this Wii, switch in the PlayStation uh, 2. Let's delete those. Perfect. Here we are back on our Vita. Let's check out settings <clears throat> and see what we got going on. And we do have a lot of them that are blank. Interesting. Now let's go back to Custom Themes Manager. And let's try this again. So it's still stuck on 23. And I get the error every single time. So let's go back. Let's 
And let's see if we can delete it from here. Nope. Now, if this is driving you crazy, like it's driving me crazy, where we're still seeing those empty squares, the last thing we can do is to delete the custom themes manager application. And this will delete all the information and everything related with that application. Let's go back and check out our themes. Next, we're going to go into read a shell. And our custom themes folder is still there. So let's delete that. Perfect. Now we'll reboot our system. All right, so we're back. Check out our settings. And let's take a look. Everything is still here. Let's see if we can delete any of this stuff. There we go. So we deleted one. Now our final step is to reinstall Custom Themes Manager. So I do have that VPK here and I don't really delete any of my stuff. So you can see this one is from February 6th. Let's install this package. And that's another reason why I don't delete any of my VPKs because they don't take up too much space. And all, all this, all these uh, files add up to less than two gigabytes. So it's nice to have that backup. Now let's go on our, there it is. Let's start it up. Let's see if we can uninstall. So we're still getting that error, unfortunately. So we reinstalled Custom Themes Manager and we're still getting the same errors. So if you're stuck like I am, there is one final option that will work 100%. So I wanted to walk through each step that way. Uh, if it worked out for you, you're done. But if you're still having problems like I am, this is the final step to make sure everything gets completely deleted from your Vita. So let's go check out my settings here and I'll show you what I got going on. Let's go into our themes and bam, everything is cleaned out. So how did I do that? Well, there is an amazing app called the app.db tool. So this application just rebuilds your database and patches up the holes in your memory card and gets rid of a bunch of stuff that we really don't need, just like those borders of those themes that were sitting there. So let's go back to my custom themes manager. Let's see. And I believe that guy, there we go. I'm not sure why it's sitting there. And let's go check out uninstall custom themes. So we have zero custom themes currently installed because I deleted everything. And let's go check out apply and install theme and we're getting good results there. So I'll be showing you how to install this application, the app.db tool. We're gonna go into our Vita shell and you can do this either FTP client or USB connection. And for this demonstration, we're gonna be doing this on FTP so I don't lose that connection here on my OBS. So let's press select and we are gonna to go to our desktop and open up our client here. Let's quick connect. Perfect. So here is the tool, the AppDB tool. And I'll have this link in the description down below for you. So let's hit this download here. And we want to select this option, the 345.0 KB. So now we can just drag this into our UXO folder or the root of your PS Vita and go from there. So I'll open up my UXO, go to VPK, throw that in there. It's already copied. And let's go back on our Vita. 
it doesn't take too much time to copy this over. Let's go into our UXO folder. We'll find my VPK. And here is the app dbtool.vpk. Press X to install the package. And hit yes. And it should take a couple seconds. And now we're going to go home and find the application. Let's start it up. So you don't want to use any other option besides rebuild database for this uh, whole demonstration of the custom themes everything that we walked through everything that we talked about we want to use this option the rebuild database no wipe we don't have to worry about anything else the system will restart and then a new bar is going to show up a loading bar and it's going to start scanning your memory card your internal storage everything and it will start rebuilding patching up the holes and clearing up a bunch of stuff so when I first did this it took about four minutes and right now it's taking less than that since it already did its work and so it says updating database do not par off the system so let it do its thing and once it's finished your PS Vita should be completely off let's restart it back up here so after your PS Vita powers up you will see a message saying hey your Vita didn't power down correctly report this problem just hit OK and move on I already tested this and everything is working just fine so you don't have to worry about that so that is it for this one guys thank you so much for watching and I know there were some people out there that were stuck just like I was with those empty boxes and it was just driving me crazy and just no way to really get rid of them and I'm so glad we finally found a solution for this and I didn't really see anybody talking about it so that is pretty cool and if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot and any questions comment down below so that way we can build a little community under this video and we can have some of our fellow subscribers viewers and our fellow Vita enthusiasts to answer some of your questions and just build that nice little community on this video and also answers from myself so thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe so you won't miss a video like this in the future and hit that notification bell so that's very important thank you guys so much take care and i'll see you on the next one